Hello everybody, this is Cap, and I would like to welcome you to the seventh video in my Batch Files tutorial series. So, in this video, we are going to be looking at four loops, or four commands. The four command. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make that more confusing than it had to be. So, as you can see here, I took away the at echo off, just so you guys could see why you have to have two percentage signs in your for command which you do a for command by starting out with the for keyword and in this case we're going to use the L switch and switches are extremely important in for loops as you'll see in the coming videos and our temporary variable we'll call it A in keyword and we want it to count from 1 to 10 so we want it to start at 1 increment by 1 each time and then end at 10 and then we want it to do echo a so basically what we're saying here is we're telling it to start at 1 and then each time take the next letter, or I'm sorry, take the next number, store it in A, and then echo it out to the command prompt. So if we save it, and then run it, as you can see it did that, but also notice that it only shows up as one percentage sign in our command prompt, which is what we wanted. Because if we only used one percentage sign here, it wouldn't work. So if you're doing it in a batch file, remember to put two, and if you're doing it in the command line, you only need one. And you can also see a good example of why we usually have at echo off, because it really clutters up our uh, prompt there. So I'm going to put that back up there. So you guys can actually see what it's doing. And as you can see, it is counting from 1 to 10, which is what we wanted. So if we took away that percentage sign and that percentage sign and saved it and tried to run it, it wouldn't work as we expected it to because it is expecting that second percentage sign. or not necessarily expecting it but needing it so this is I mean it's a pretty simple concept it basically just does whatever you put in your do section here it executes those commands on each variable or each value that is assigned to this variable each time it goes through the loop We can also use it to, uh, say, get even or odd numbers. So if we wanted to get the odd numbers between 1 and 10, we could just say increment it by 2, starting at 1. And if we control S and run it, as you can see, we get 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, which are the odd numbers between 1 and 10. If we wanted to get the even numbers, we could tell it to start at 0. Control S run it and 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 so I mean, you can do some pretty useful stuff like that, that with uh, this using the L switch but we're going to get a whole lot of use out of these four commands in the coming tutorials when we use them to, to uh, read from text files and whatnot so if you guys like this video please let me know by hitting the like button and if you've watched a few of my videos and really like them, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on when I post new ones. And I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.